Any questions? No. Yes, many. Hundreds. Thank you very much. Go, go, go! Let's move! This is about becoming legends. What are you doing? I'm warming up my instrument. I mean, bro, the email came in and it just says Zack Snyder on there. And you're like, you know, and then Matthias and all the people that were involved. And the script for, you know, the script for me was it, it turns it on. It, it's a fresh look at it, you know, and it takes those um, tropes that we have in those films normally and turns them on their head and has fun with them. And I think there's much more interesting real characters um which was a joy for us to be able to play you know something real and to find out where they come from and why they are who they are so yeah it was a really fresh look at something and wasn't what we've seen before or read before i tell you the truth torsten i'm terrible at reading scripts bro so even though the it's money out, yeah <laughs> show me the money but no it was um it was actually brought to me by my team and they said look i think you'd be a really good fit for this and you know as, as soon as i then read it but the most important thing for me is was actually having that first meeting with matthias and as soon as that zoom call initiated i was like yo this guy's energy is different like i like it it's not standard patter like you know oh uh, this product's going to be incredible he was asking a lot of questions about how and why probably we could make it better as performers and that's what i loved you know like on set Stu would have a suggestion and it would be listened to and Stu's suggestion would make the scene better. Same with Natalie, same with Ruby, same with myself, you know? So um, I think that, that collaborative nature um, is even more important than the script. And that's even in the stuff I write myself, you know? If you want to make something come alive off that paper, you've, you, you've got to get the, you've got to get the, the creative input of, of everyone who's going to be on screen, you know? Goose the money. Me, three months away from the family. <laughs> um, I mean, come, they're just they're just fantastic characters, man. I think when you read something like uh, those big action sequences that we both get to do, I mean, we, we went to cinema as kids, you know, that's I was at the Odeon Cinema in Air as a 14 year old watching these films. That's why <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, seeking to do what I do is because I want to fuck about and play and do all this shit that I wanted to do as a 14 year old. So to get to do that in a really cool way and also get to um, play a real character, uh, I'll try and make a, a real character. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's just this is little boy's dream, you know? Yeah, I'm saying- Car sequences, Goose, you're, you're driving, bro. It was, and I think the thing is like for, for, for both me and Stu, like it came at a difficult time where we're in the middle of a pandemic there was no vaccines at the time so we made the choice to to leave our our, our wives and our children uh, and and go somewhere and, and do this and, and that should really uh, be a testament to, to how much we were interested in like challenging ourselves not just the movie but in the times that the movie was being made it was pretty flipping incredible and Stu as well will 100% agree which is you know Matthias, but also everybody behind the scenes like Marquetta and, uh, you know, a whole host of people who made every single day on that set over in Prague an absolute joy um, was 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 massive as well, you know? Yeah. Film United, big up to that team. They're amazing. They've done amazing yeah. stuff um, over the like, well, last 10 years, but they're an incredible family. And, you know, through that production, they kept us all safe. They were doing Two and a, you know, two thousand tests a week. You know, this is pre all that, and and they just made us feel really welcome in a in a situation where you couldn't fly back and you couldn't jump on a plane like you normally do. Yeah. So yeah, it was um, it was great. Most challenging scene to shoot, uh, just from a logistical point of view. This is for all young filmmakers. When you write scenes that are based in a van. <laughs> a transit yeah. van and then you've got to capture like 20 angles and different shots 
uh, you know, it was it in was a pandemic. Time. Yeah, hundred percent. Like you With know, the two this, meter rule. <laughs> the two meter rule. We were breaking all kinds of COVID regulations by getting in that van, uh, and you know that was not just for um, you know Matthias to figure out, but the, but the whole team from our incredible DOPs and the people who were giving us our props, like in such challenging circumstances, just getting those super, make it, when you watch a movie, you'll see, making it appear like everything was A-OK, -okay, but filming that in the time that we were filming it in was absolutely incredible. What about you, bro? Uh, favorite, I, I, I loved them all, to be honest. I loved doing the action stuff. I mean, I loved those big days where you were doing a, a heist and we got to, um, to do a load of that stuff. I mean, that was great fun. And you know that brings its own challenges as well. You, you don't want to look shit, you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you want it to look good and you want it to look right. So I, I loved and also found that stuff challenging. Ready, set, and crack! Ludwig Dieter, safe cracker extraordinaire. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. We've been watching you. I'm in I belong to a crew that executes international bank heists, and we want to recruit you. Why me? I am not criminal. The world's distracted. <laughs> this window of opportunity isn't just our only chance, it's yours. My only chance for what? A life less ordinary. I'd like you to meet the team. Karina, our master hacker. Rolf, our getaway driver. And last but not least, our very own real life action hero, Mr. Brad Cage. So, is it like in a movie film where each one of us has a different skill set and it's only working together that we can pull off that which needs the pulling off? Yes, it's exactly like that. We've assembled from various sources the locations of the three saves. The Rheingold. The Valkyrie. The Siegfried. All of them are under the ownership of infamous billionaire Balai Tanaka. Any questions? No. Yes, many. Hundreds. I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! Thank you very much. Go, go, go! Let's move! This is about becoming legends. What are you doing? I'm warming up my instruments.